This is a live look from London as Queen Elizabeth II lies in state at Westminster Hall. Hundreds of thousands of mourners from across the country are getting their final chance to file past and say goodbye to Britain's longest reigning monarch. Earlier on Wednesday, Prince of Wales William and Prince Harry walked together as they joined their father, the new king, in a somber procession that took the Queen's coffin from Buckingham Palace. NBC's Bree Jackson has the details now from London. People from all walks of life filed through Westminster Hall, some waiting for days to honor Queen Elizabeth II, standing in lines as deep as their grief runs. You know, you can write letters of condolence, which I'm sure a number of us will do, but it was a personal moment of goodbye. There were tears, others bowing and praying. Heartfelt moments all part of the Queen's final journey. She left Buckingham Palace for the last time Wednesday morning, accompanied by King Charles, his sons Princes William and Harry, and other senior royals, followed by a solemn procession traveling the streets of London. She was the glue what knitted the monarchy together, really, wasn't she? Britain's longest serving monarch was on the throne for an historic 70 years, influencing generations. I've had the Queen in my life. She's been immortal, I think, and it's hard to believe she's gone. Officials predict up to 400,000 people will view the Queen lying in state. Her crown was glistening, um, and it was just really lovely and very respectful. Paying their respects to Her Majesty, a beloved Queen, and a leader who lived a remarkable life. In London, Bree Jackson for NBC News.